Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Fowler from TradingWins.com, and this is our update for September 7th, 2017. Let's take a quick look at how the markets finished off today. Well, we saw a mostly lower close for U.S. equities. The Dow was down 22 points, still within this inside bar formation. Um, the S&P 500 was, was pretty much flat, down 0.44. Not much to talk about there. Uh, the NASDAQ was up 4.5 and the Russell was down about three and a half. Um, this, this minor drop was due mostly to some of the financials that uh, took a bit of a hit today. And for the Dow, uh, the biggest um, uh, contributor to this 22-point uh, drop by the Dow was Disney, which was down 4% today. A sharp move lower after they warned about um, their upcoming profit numbers. So that was not good uh, but on a more positive note bonds and gold continued to roll and should continue for a while i think bonds here doing nicely a nice sharp momentum nice slow but steady trend higher we just took out another <clears throat> excuse me another high here on our way to close this gap which comes in around that 130 mark and i think we actually uh, have enough momentum behind this move to go even higher than that. So that's looking pretty good. Gold as well. Gold up almost 15 points today and just continues to roll after breaking <coughs> excuse me, out of that channel. And now is getting close to these highs. And once again, I, I think with everything going on, I think gold certainly has what it, it needs to get above this high near 1370. Um, only time will tell, but if we get above 1370, once again, I think there's a lot more room to go. Crude was pretty flat today, but the dollar was anything but. Took a beating, both against the CAD here, and have a look at the dollar index chart. It's now breaking below these lows that we had talked about, so it is in danger of moving substantially lower. The only thing keeping it up right now is some support here on the monthly um, this is sort of its last um, last chance here to bounce. If we don't hear and we blow through that, uh, look out below. I think we're headed much lower. Now, this year, uh, out of the ETF world, XBI has been one of, if not the best performer. But um, having a look at this chart, uh, there's a little pattern I wanted to make you aware of that more often than not leads to a bigger move when you get a nice spike like this especially when you break previous highs and are at highs here and then you just kind of pause and go sideways but more importantly if you look at these bodies here the bodies of the candles compared to the wicks you know every time you see this pattern where there's a lot of wicks on one side here and the bodies are pretty much at the same level um, it, I think it, it's just a matter of time before we break these highs and continue moving higher. Obviously, whenever we get below here, buyers quickly step in and push this back up. It happened there, it happened here, it happened again here, and now here, uh, four straight days where buyers refuse to let this get below this um, 84 level. So I think this is going higher in an opportunity, a, a simple entry would be a break of these highs near 85 and uh, and we're often running to more highs here if we look at the weekly chart nice strong trend nice momentum it looks like it really wants to get to these highs at 91 if you look at the monthly chart here same thing it's on its way so look for more prices on xbi and remember any pullback is another buying opportunity that's about it for now enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see you on our next update.